good morning it is it's back yay 10 20 a.m the 22nd friday the 22nd of may it is 84 degrees outside it is memorial day weekend or about to be that is fedex let me tell fedex i picked it up so this morning i thought we would start off you're gonna hear the dogs i started talking she has to go and roll and make noise or get a drink or she has to do something anyway <laughs> Um, my makeup brushes, maybe you can or cannot. I washed them, they're all back there up here. Um, and then I sort of went through the ones I use all the time. Anyway, beside the point, we are going to start off with a Beautylish haul. Beautylish haul and Sephora, no, Ulta, Ulta haul. Um, I uh, had that 20% off coupon, I think everybody had it. And um, also there had been, have been some things that I have been wanting to try for quite some time. And I told you I canceled my subscription boxes so that I could then order what I wanted specifically instead of getting random things. So that's what I did. Um, I'm gonna step back a little bit and put this here. I did order from Airborean um, the products I told you I love. They had a little special going on right now. They have a Memorial Day weekend sale. I'm not sure how long that's going on, but it's 25% off. And they also had a code if you use the code MATT, M-A-T-T-E, you got a mask, a mask, matte mask, this, and a little cleansing balm for $10. Um, so I, I added that, that's what I used, but also picked up this, which is a bamboo lotion, the matte cream, and another CC Red Correct. So now I have, you know, two of each, which is great. That'll last me, I would imagine, quite some time. Um, I, well, actually, I don't even know, because I'm starting to use this and the Sika Pair. I am gonna work my way through this. Um, I'll use these two together. Um, and I'll work my way through all of this um, since I have opened it, but it does not work as well as the matte cream. It works okay, but now I need to also try the, this is similar to this, this is a bamboo matte lotion. So I just need to try that. Okay, what did I get from Ulta? Um, I got, sorry. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in a box a while back. This came in a box and then this one is by Kat Von D, that one. Uh, this one's very, very hard and very difficult for me to get in my skin. It kind of scratches me. So I, anyway, I don't use that. This is has been Tristique. I went through this whole thing. This has been a favorite of mine. Um, I'm keeping the empty one so I don't forget. The Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the color taupe. I really like this. Really, it's the first time I've ever used it. I really, really like it. But you know, it's expensive, and I'm just not down for that. So I picked up, and this is almost gone. I probably have two uses out of it left. So, um, so today we're gonna try this one that came in. This is in taupe from J Cat. It's like five bucks. So. I'm gonna try that one in taupe. And then this Luminous Extra Volume Collagen Mascara from L'Oreal. I just wanted to try it. It just looked like a good mascara. And I did order the Grande Lash. You know, I, I told you I love this one. I didn't at first. This is the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. I did not love this at first. Um, I let it dry out for a couple of weeks and now I love this stuff so this was a little try it set for $20 you got the lash MD and the grande lash mascara but this is the peptide one this is the one with castor oil this is the one with peptides so I just thought we could try them um, but today I think we're gonna try the L'Oreal okay and let me put these what I got from Beautylish that was it from Ulta Oh my goodness, it's so fancy. Look at that, so pretty. I had never ordered anything from Beautylish before. This is my first time. Oh my goodness, so, so nice. All wrapped in paper. I'm so excited, so excited. 
Okay, this is the next um, glycolic acid. This is not from Beautylish. This is the next um, glycolic acid I'm going to try. I have the pads right now, and then I'm gonna move to this. Um, I say that because I picked up this from Beautylish. This is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. So I'm gonna try this. I know niacinamide is good for your skin. Um, when I use it in moisturizer form, it's too heavy for my skin. So I thought I would try a toner, and this had great reviews. So there's that. And this must be a free sample. Yeah, we'll come back to that. And I ordered a backup of, I'm not gonna open it, it's still in here, of my Charlotte Tilbury I told you, you can use the number seven. There's no need to buy this, to buy the Charlotte Tilbury, if you can get your hands on the number seven. This stuff is fantastic. It really is, it's very, very good. Jessica Braun swears it's better than the Charlotte Tilbury. I personally, I love the Charlotte Tilbury, I love the number seven. I do think the number seven is a hair better than the Charlotte Tilbury, but I still love this stuff. I think it is fantastic. And for me, it's excellent for touch-ups. That's where it shines for me because it doesn't shine. <laughs> and it doesn't cake on my oily skin. And with these two new products, with the Sika Pear and the, um, the CC Red Correct, this works really well as a, like, a touch-up in the daytime when I need to touch up, primarily when I travel. So that's what's in here. And then this, I told you I wanted to try this. Uh, it's the Magic Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. This says under eye and face. We're gonna try this today. Yes, I have the Lara Mercier. I, I actually have two backups of this, which I didn't realize. Um, Ulta had them on clearance last year sometime. They were like $10. I'm not kidding. They were marked down to like $10 and I picked up two to give as a gift. They came with the little puff, the little powder puff, and never ended up giving them as a gift. So, they're in here. But honestly, I'm finding this Nikki, Nikia, Nikki Joy powder works the best, the absolute best. But I like the look of the, which is odd to me. But it's so matte, these are so matte for me, I do need a little, a little glow. So there you go. Anyway, whatever. So I'm excited to try this today, the Magic Powder. We are definitely trying this today. I can't wait. And because I am obsessed with everything Pillow Talk, this one's different than the one from Sephora. This one is the Coal Liner. No, it's not. Pillow Talk Eyeliner. It just says... So, I don't know, is this the coal one? It said it was coal, I don't know. But the reviews on this are fantastic. There it is, and I just, I can't wait. Ah, oh. see, that's gorgeous. It's an eyeliner, but it's a brownish burgundy. It's the Pillow Talk color eyeliner, so I'm excited, excited to use that today. So we're just gonna get ready and um, for the day. So after we do that, after we get ready, um, I'm gonna, uh, I need to wait for Rob to get home, then we're gonna go to Costco, and then after Costco, we are gonna go to um, come home and probably swim. It is Memorial Day weekend, it's time to get in the pool. I'm trying to get the sofa, sorry. It's time to get in the pool and I am ready. So we're gonna swim. So my hair, I'm gonna have it up in a ponytail all day today, because we're gonna go swim. Oh, this was the free gift. What is this? This is Orbe Mystify Restyling Spray. Came in this little package. Shake and mist on next day hair. Heat style or air dry to something redefine I think it's too little for me to see okay all right definitely I'll give it a try why not okay so let's put this niacinamide on my face 
yeah, it's sealed. Okay. And I always put it to the backs of my hands. There we go. Because I'm swimming later, I would, well, ordinarily, this is what I would be using. This is the Australian Gold um, Lightweight Matte Finish BB Cream for Fair to Light Skin Tones. That's what I would be using, but, and on top of, under it, for a primer, I'd be using the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier Broad Spectrum SPF 45. These are the two that going forward, you're gonna see me using on port days when we go back. I've discovered these work really, really well for me. And this stuff, even on the jet ski, water splashing me in the face, it didn't budge and I didn't get any sun. And normally that doesn't happen. Normally like my nose will still get sun and like sometimes on my chin, I'll still get sun like right here kind of, cause it catches from underneath my visor. That did not happen. That is really good stuff. But you guys, if you have dry skin, you're not going to like that. You are not going to like it. If you have dry skin, the only other one I would actually recommend, one I've used before, is the CC cream, the It CC cream. Um, this is the SPF 50. I find this stuff does really, really well for me. Import. Um, I'm not going to replace this one, but I'm going to use it up over time here at home for in the pool. Um, but this, if you have dry skin, this is a good one for you. If you have oily skin or even combination skin, this com this this works really well. But again, you have to realize it's going to mattify your skin. You you have to know that. So, and definitely will mattify your skin. All right, let's get on with it. Let me put on, put that niacinamide stuff on. Here is this Tatcha water cream. This is my second little sample of it. I really really like that stuff. Unfortunately, it's crazy crazy expensive um i'm gonna look like on reddit and different uh avenues for um a dupe because i i have to say it really it's it doesn't i don't know it's a mattifier that's what it is for me is a mattifier and i'm trying to use the belief 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 less and less i have a teeny tiny bit in here just to see how my eyes do with just the bobby brown I'm trying not to have to replace that belief cream, belief cream, because it's so expensive. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up here. But I just find that that works really super duper well under my dry under eyes. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna let that sit in for just a second. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Seek Pair today because it has sunscreen in it, and we are gonna swim. Maybe, most likely, going to swim today. All right, so just a little bit of the matte cream. That may be a little too much, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, we've got the Charlotte Tilbury open. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. All right, I have some in the lid. Let me get my favorite little sponge do. Just this one, it's that fuzzy one from Real Techniques. I just really like it. Oh, nope. I do this every time. Let me put on my concealer and then we'll move on. It's not glowy. Whoa. I mean, I know I have it right here. Hang on. This stuff is like liquid gold, so I want to make sure I get every last bit of it out of this lid. You see, it's in my pores. Hold on. I'm, uh, my other powders don't do that. That is... Could be my skin's a little dry. 
I don't know. Hmm. I don't like that. Interesting. Whatever. I, I'm going to have to keep playing with it. It could be it doesn't work. It doesn't like the secret pair. I don't know. And since we're on the Pillow Talk today, we're going to use the Pillow Talk palette. Uh, Pillow Talk blush palette. Okay. And as we had the Pillow Talk palette on our face, we're going to use the Pillow Talk palette on our eyes. I mean... Alrighty, so here is the pillow talk. Let's go in that upper water line. <laughs> Do I look red? I don't know. Let's. see we shall see all right let's try this J cat spoolie on one end and yeah oh that's very brown hang on you can see it right there it's quite well pretty true to the color of the lid let's see what is the color maybe this is too I don't know Now the Kat Von D is a little cooler. Hang on. The Kat Von D is on the bottom. Not Kat Von D. Anastasia. So it's on the bottom. It's that one. So this was quite warm compared to this. So we'll see. I don't know. It's just my natural brow in there. I don't, I don't. Let me just use this spoolie. I, uh, oh, it just pulled it right out. You see right there? I have a bald spot from a scar. Just pulled it right on out of there. Let's let it set a little bit longer. Maybe not use the spoolie it came with. Sometimes they're a little too rough. Okay, let me put my primer on, it's the L'Oreal primer. Since we're getting in the pool, I should be using a waterproof mascara, but I don't want to today. I read somewhere, somebody said it like, is bad for your eyelashes. I don't know. All right, this is the L'Oreal Extra Voluminous Collagen Mascara. Here's the brush, ooh, look at that brush. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like that kind of brush. Wispy lashes. The lashes are wispy. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to put a couple of coats on. Okay. First use. I kind of like it. We've been wearing this one lately. I'm going to keep using it. It's Butter London uh, Teddy Boy. It's just cute and pretty. It goes nicely with the Charlotte Tilbury Pinks. There we go. That's it. All right. I will see you in a little bit. That's it for the little haul. We'll use this another day. I don't... We'll see how this does. Mm, I don't like that. I don't know about this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I don't know about that. Oh, I gotta brush out my eyebrows. Mm, not sure about this powder. Uh, wow, really not sure about it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, it's 3.37, we just left Costco, yes, again. Um, and uh, we are now headed to H-E-B. For one item. For one item, well two, it, uh, there were two items we couldn't get here at Costco. Normally I get Chandler Udon at Costco and I didn't see it I haven't seen it the last few times we've been um, so I'll look at for it at HEB he's not 
he will eat the one from H-E-B, but it's not his favorite. But um, I'm gonna look and see if that's there. And then it's on my menu to make this week. And one of the reasons I needed to go to Costco are the big pretzels. Um, I needed cheese for that, but they want the big pretzels too. Chandler's been asking if we can find them. So we're gonna go to the grocery store and see if we can find them. You know, the, the big ones you get that are frozen? Big soft ones. Big soft pretzels, yeah. And um, you put them in the oven and you bake them and you put the salt on them. Uh, I had actually never had one of those until I met this man years and years and years and years ago. Hashtag my fault. And I just never had any need to have, I had seen them, but I had never even had the need to have them. And then one day he brought them home and he was like, you know what, you gotta try these. I was hooked. And now of course I can't eat them, but we're gonna make some keto or grain free version of them this week, so. <laughs> I'm hoping they'll be the same. It's a different recipe than the few I've tried before. So we'll see. Anyway, um, I don't have any pretzel salt. I know that makes a difference, but. So we are now headed to H-E-B. Oh, I am a mess. I don't like that powder. It's going back. Thankfully, I don't have to keep it, but I look ill. I, I don't know what that is, but I feel like I look like I have a cold. So I must have used colors today that aren't great, or it's the lighting. I don't know, but I'm not I'm not digging this look on my eyeballs. <laughs> Very excited that mommy brought home new boxes. New small strawberry boxes, huh? I know. Okay, so let's get through this haul and then mommy will put them down for you, okay? Here is what I picked up at HEB. Um, the Cafe Ole coffee. Um, I couldn't find the udon, so we're gonna try this one. He doesn't usually use the little packets in there. He, he makes his own like sauce and things like that. You can see our boxes are worse for wear, so that's when we get them new ones. I picked up some strawberries because I have a recipe for some strawberry shortcake. I'd like to try that, my favorite. Pico de Gallo, I, can, I, can, I cannot wait to eat that. And then there are the big pretzels we were talking about. So it was like $17 at H-E-B. And then here is Costco. So um, they didn't have this, Yasmin crying again. They didn't have this last time we were there, so I picked this up for Chandler. This time, he really enjoys this. This is one of the better frozen ramens that you can get, and it has some nice vegetable in it, white meat chicken, it's actually really good. Um, Colby Jack cheese. Here is the palmetto cheese or pimento cheese I was talking about. They did have the jalapeno, but I chose to get the regular because I can add jalapenos if I really want, but I can't take them out if I don't. Uh, like I mentioned last time, I did want to pick this up, so um, I did, and I'm going to try it. Singles for the guys because they like to make grilled cheese sandwiches. They like it on their burgers. They just, they use this stuff all the time. It will take me a good six months to go through this, but you know, we will eventually get through it. Okay, I had to move the dogs. A giant block of mozzarella. Oh, there's something on it. A giant block of mozzarella. Um, we will break this up and shred it up and put it in a container so that it's always ready for us whenever we need it. It is six pounds. So that's great. We picked this up in the last haul and it's really, really good. So I grabbed another one since they still had it. This is sharp cheddar cheese, um, you know, just sharp cheddar. I went ahead and grabbed this while I was there so I didn't have to order it from Amazon. Um, I'm not quite out yet. I'm about halfway through mine, but I went ahead and picked it up. It's a good price point. Um, you can get a bigger one off Amazon, but this is fine. Also, if you get you need powdered sugar, just whiz it up in a super duper dry, um, like magic bullet or blender. And this was an impulse buy. These just looked really good, and as a change from bacon in the mornings, I thought we we could uh, try that. Speaking of bacon, I did get two more um, just to have in the freezer. Two rotisserie chickens. Um, I told you I was going to pick up. I will pick the chicken off of these and uh, put it in storage in the freezer. And um, I will break it up into about four meals and I will also, four meals each, and I will also take the drippings and I will make, I will put that in for storage. No sir, no, no, no. And then what's really good is you can take the, you know, the leftovers 
everybody's attracted to these chickens. Um, you can take the leftovers and um, boil them up in some water, some seasoned water, and you can make your own stock. That's very easy to do as well. And I actually will do that. Eggs, because we've already been through one of these since we've been to Costco, and this, I don't need to go back for a long time, so I went ahead and grabbed some more eggs. And Baby Bell cheese, um, I wanted some Baby Bell cheese. The commercial has gotten to me. It worked, it did its job, and I just wanted to get some. Nice snack. And as I've told you, the last Costco haul, I'm like in the mood for cheese lately. It's, and it's just been delightful, and I'm already mostly through the cheese I got last time. We definitely went through this whole raw milk cheese. It's been gone for like two days now. It was that good. Yeah, my kitchen, oh God. Okay, so these are for the cats. This just came in. Um, I will show you more about this when uh, I get it set up, but this is going to house the only makeup I'm keeping. Everything else I've decluttered. <laughs> So I'm pretty pleased about that. Oh, and I do get a lot of questions about this. Um, specifically, you asked me if I think it works. Here's the deal. I don't know if it works, but I feel like my skincare does soak into my skin better with it, but it feels good more than anything, especially if you have a headache. Um, that's why it's out right now is I used it because I wasn't feeling great. I know it's not clear. Um, it just really, it does. Heidi, you asked me, and I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's because it feels so nice. It's cold, it just feels really nice, even when I'm cold. So, if, any, if for no other reason, that's why I use it. Everything, including a cat who's being very mischievous. Excuse me, sir, I told you no. I guess you don't care, huh? All right, little bit, mommy's coming to get you down. Are you gonna sing the song, Never Gonna Get Me Down? Well, no, that's not the right tune. You think just because you're cute, you're gonna get away with being up here, aren't you? He's like, I am so far. Look at me, I'm still up here. <laughs> All right. You can't be up there, even though you really want to. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Are the